is directed by Paul King, starring T Timothy Chalamet as Willy Wonka, plus a bunch of um of of, of, of other well-known actors like Hugh Grant and Rowan Atkinson, and is the third official movie based off Willy Wonka, and is the first movie of all of them to be a origin story or a prequel before the factory. And I had an absolute blast with this movie. I thought it was just absolutely magnificent. It did really exceed my expectations in a lot of ways because I was expecting this movie to be great, but it, it really was great in so many ways that I thought it was going to be and, and in a few ways that I didn't think it was going to be as well. I don't think it's perfect. I do think it has a couple of flaws, but not very many. So let's just get right into it. So the first thing I loved about this movie right off the bat is just how light-hearted it is. It seems that in 2023 and kind of a going trend in the 2020s that has been around since the 2010s is that so much stuff that comes out today is just so unbelievably dark and depressing and doesn't really focus on, you know, um, a very um, light, uplifting story of simply holding on to your dreams. And... Holding on to your dreams is basically the um, the core theme of this film. It's taught, t t telling you to like just don't give up on your dream, or if you do give up on one dream, focus towards another one. Never stop dreaming. It is it is basically the driving force of of like the world. Every good thing in this world started with a dream, and I could relate to it because because I feel that way too. I also have um I also have, uh, if you've been watching my channel for um, for quite some time, you you will know that there's a person that I feature in this channel called Jason Wingate, and he himself is an is a filmmaker. He's made several films of his own, and he's done. He, he's trying to start his own company. He does have financial struggles as well, but I feel like this would be the type of movie that he would love too because he hasn't let go of his dream. He's still dreaming towards towards greatness, towards success. And I that's something that I can just get behind because I I believe in it too. And I think it's just a very clear message that this movie was trying to tell and it did it in such a beautiful and such a unique yet very easy to understand and easy to get behind way which is which is which is awesome and also this film is is a musical and i think it is probably the best musical i've seen since la la land in 2016 it might even be better in that aspect i mean la la land had some incredibly catchy songs of course i think la la land was made on a bigger budget than wonka but this this musical has a really good songs in it. There was not a, a song in this movie that I didn't like. Of course, there are some that are better than others. And there are, of course, uh, I think I'll go, go into maybe minor spoilers here. Pure Imagination does make a return in this movie, of course, but it is a little bit different to what it was in the 1971 movie. But there are quite a few songs in here too, um, and the, the, the majority of them are very well done and very well produced. Also, this movie looks absolutely gorgeous. It, 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 it's just a beautiful looking movie. The, um, the candy looks incredible. The, um, the setting looks incredible. The production design of some of these sets are just off the charts. It is a really good looking movie, and it's also quite funny as well. Hugh Grant gets some great moments as the Oompa Loompa. I think something, my only real complaint about this movie is that I thought there were going to be more locations in this movie. It kind of shows you that, that Wonka goes to Oompa Loompa land, but it still doesn't show very much of what that's all about. You still saw more in the Charlie, the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory film. And I was expecting this version to be a bit more fantastical, a bit more wacky, and yet you don't see much of it, which I thought was a bit disappointing. The 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 movie also half of the movie is having Willy Wonka imprisoned in this um in kind of like this this laundry washing uh, building, and I felt like him being under under the prison rule of this woman did go on for a bit too long before he 
breaks free. I won't spoil anything else. And and of course, and and the movie is a bit limited to to the town as well. That there aren't that many other locations outside the town. So I think that is one minor con for the movie. I kind of wish it went more places. But that's basically the only bad thing I have to say about it. I think it's an absolutely wonderful family film to to end the year with. It's it's a, it's an incredible feel good musical, all about that dreams are important. Don't give them up. Don't let them go. Keep on dreaming no matter what. That's the main message of this movie. It's very whimsical, very Wonka, of course, and I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. It might actually be my favourite Wonka movie of them all now, actually. I might even like it more than the first one. So I would, so I think out of all three of them, I give the original Willy Wonka an 8, Charlie a 6, and this one a 9. So this might be my favourite one of the, um, favourite one of the three. I also ate a lot of candy in the theatre, watching this movie, which I haven't done in a very long time. Definitely bring some candy along. It, it doesn't hurt to have some candy during a Wonka movie. That's what the candy's for. I, I actually bought some. When I was in my um, local cinema, they had the uh, the Wonka hat gummies. had like little berry, raspberry jam juice inside of them. And also had a bunch of uh, um, Alan's two-headed snakes. So that's what I had. But yeah, um... Yummy. <laughs> but anyway, uh, definitely see this one. It is worth your time. And as always, thanks for watching and take care. Thank you.